Right, joining me now is the president of the Newcastle City Blues, Daniel Garnett. Daniel, welcome. Thank you very much, Gary. Second year in the job as president. How are you finding it? Yeah, really enjoying it. It's been uh, great off-season um, and leading into the season and having success on and off the park. So it makes it uh, pretty easy when you've got a great club to be a part of, that's for sure. Newcastle City have had a lot of success over the years. Everyone thinks it's a, you know, it runs itself. That's not the case, is it? Definitely not. I don't think any organisation runs itself. It takes a lot of hard work from a lot of people. So it's everybody chipping in. Uh, like the uh, old saying goes, many hands make light work. And it's uh, having that culture of people wanting to be a part of what we're doing here at City. So it's great. AFL club in a, in a rugby league st stronghold. What are the challenges that you face? Yeah, look, uh, there is a bit of a challenge in trying to uh, take the game to that next level. Um, we are the only team at the moment that's in the Newcastle LGA. So uh, it's certainly we want to be showing the game to, uh, to the best that we can as a club um, and presenting the game to our community as, as best we can. So we like to do a lot of things in the community. There's been a lot of projects that we've had this year and raised a lot of money for some of the computer, com um, yeah, community projects. So You certainly have. You led the way in that regard. Do you want to give us a bit of a, an insight into some of those? Yeah, look, uh, it started off last season, end of last season, we decided that we wanted to keep the boys around um, and be able to do stuff with them and also the girls. We had one of the girls join in and we started uh, the Newcastle City AFC cricket team. So uh, part of that was we had a Pink Stumps Day and that Pink Stumps Day raised over uh, $2,000 for, for uh, the McGrath Foundation, which was fantastic. Um, that also led into our uh, Vice President, uh, Nathan Jones, who did shave for a cure. He's had a beard for uh, two years, so it was uh, certainly Michael Finnegan. So it was uh, down a long way and um, he raised over $2,000 as well for the Leukemia Foundation with Shave for a Cure. And then during this season, we've done um, Soldier On, which has been fantastic to be able to have those guys um, part of what we're doing here. We have got a lot of people who are from the RAF who are playing part of our club, past and present. So it's great to be able to raise some money for, uh, for Soldier On, who looks after um, our wounded warriors when they return from service for our nation. Yeah, look, that's a fantastic cause there as well. Daniel, how do you get the buy-in from your players? It seems to be from looking from the outside in, the, the, the players seem to, to come in and, and all part of the one. How do you get that buy-in? Yeah, look, it's just the culture that we have that um, we're all in together and that uh, when we see somebody down, we want to be able to be there for each other and get around each other and pick each other up. So it's really the culture that we've built here and that hasn't been during my time. It's been uh, years and years in the making and uh, people just continue to get on board with, with what we're doing and uh, we're not about uh, being here for ourselves. We're about looking after each other and being here for our community as well. What's the challenge of, of being in charge of a club that's 133 years old? Uh, I think the, the biggest challenge is probably continuing to move forward. It's very easy when you've had so much tradition to continue to just do how you, how you have done it, um, continue to be how you have been, but the game's evolving and so do we as a club. We need to continue to evolve and continue to push forward and so that's one of the things that we've really focused on is uh, also keeping those traditions and, and who we are as a club, but also moving forward to be part of what we are in 2016 and what we look like and then... We're really focusing on also that um, that next generation. We want to leave a legacy for that next generation of City players who are going to come through. So we want our ceiling to be their floor so they can continue to, to step forward just like we've been able to stand on the shoulders of the giants that have gone before us. Yeah. Look, well done, Daniel. Doing a great job uh, in charge of a very successful club at the moment and good luck as we finish off the season. Thanks very much, Gary. And uh, yeah, it's great to be part of this night tonight and we're really looking forward to um, getting around that and being part of it as well. So thanks very much. There you go. There's the president of the Newcastle City Blues, Daniel Gardner.